welcome this morning again to the to another time we gone on glorious morning shower it's a new day and i always pray that it should be your own day thank you for many of you following us thank you for comments thank you for what god has used you on this platform to do for us prayer support thank you this platform began october last year and by his grace we have not stopped we have prayed god is telling us what to do next where to go next we are believing god that with you with us we are going to do his will by bringing the real christianity that god wants us to practice we have so many going on these days but god has called us to help the christianity of our time it's our message and i believe god is going to help us to do more justice to that in jesus name it costs a lot of things time energy resources and god has blessed us with all this and by his grace the wisdom to put them to work shall be given to us in jesus name the word for your shower today is the weight of sin We've been talking about heaviness of heart, sorrow, grief, pain in the month of June. The month is advancing. The month is going deeper. But God wants to remind you as a child of God that you are, that we are, that Living a life of sin is a weight that will weigh you down. So, when you are truly a good child of God, when you commit sin, do you feel good? You have condemnation coming. Now, Except now that men have ignored the standard of God and trying to impute their own standard by writing their own Bible. Except now, if not, how dare you commit a sin, living in sin of fornication, living in sin of adultery, living in sin on diabolic lifestyle, or things you know are bad lies and you now come and kneel before God you can pray you can pray before you mention one or two words my father in heaven or oh, before you go further a word will hit you we father you now it is a sign that you are still a child of God it is a sign that God is still with you so those voices are beckoning on you to return back to your maker in repentance so what is god is telling you today is sin the aim of devil luring you into sin is not just for you to just just commit that sin he wants to make you heavy so that you will now be disconnected from that love relationship between you and your God. And you know what the Bible says about those who love God. Remember the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28. All things work together for them that are, for them that love God and are called according to his purpose. How about 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9? Eyes have not seen, 
ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man what God has prepared for them that love him. So, you see, those good things that God has prepared for you, that is what the devil wants to cut you away from by breaking that bridge of sin between you and God. Then it weighs you down. Weigh you down. Listen to what the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 says. It says, Wherefore, see we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of weaknesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us every weight and the sin which dwelt easily beset us. I want to challenge us today in the name of Jesus. You see, sin is a weight. You can see it here. See, so therefore, let us lay aside every weight. He didn't just stop there. He said, and the sin. So, weight is a sin. Every weight and the sin which easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Let us, you see, we are running a race every day. That is why we come to you every morning to equip you with ability, strength, enablement to help you run the race. And one of the things that is going to help you run that race today that God is bringing your way is doing away with a life of sin. I don't want to use the word, it's not easy. By His grace, all things are possible. We can live that life void of sin void of lies, void of creating enmity between people, void of, void of anger, harboring hatred in your heart, keeping people in your heart. We can do it. It's possible. And I pray that the grace of God that has appeared to all men, which is part, which you are part of, that grace be made available for you today to do away from the life of sin in the mighty name of Jesus. That sin that easily beset you. I don't know, could it be masturbation? I don't know. Is it gossiping? Creating an enmity between two friends? I don't know. You know, there are so many things we do that are sinful. But God will remind you this morning, right now, so that you make your way right with God to have a light spirit. That is just what God wants to do in the month of June. Lightening our spirit to subdue every heaviness. I pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit of heaviness on you that were introduced into your life by sin today God will diffuse them, God will remove them and put you on a platform of a good relationship with Him in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you on glorious morning shower. It's a new day for you and this day is going to end gloriously for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God.